Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. Today I thought I'd do a cleaning video. I am going to be cleaning and cooking today. As you can see, my kitchen is a right old mess, absolute mess. I have had a pain on my arm for a couple of days, so my house has been neglected for a few days. I hate it when my kitchen looks like this. Can you see the mess? I don't have a dishwasher, so all my dishes are in the sink and they need to be cleaned. So I need to get a move on because this kitchen is not right for anybody at all in this cleaning. So the first place that I start is at the sink. I have to do all this washing up um, because I really can't do anything until these dishes are out of the sink. So we need to wash them up. I can't wait for when I have a dishwasher. I don't like doing this at all and I hate it when the dishes are all over the place like they are right now. Oh, I can't wait to have a dishwasher. Soon, soon Monique, very, very soon. I um, need to dry these dishes and put them away because right now it's not looking as if I've done anything at all. So I need to dry them, put them away and then I can move on. I absolutely love these bowls, they are just the best to sit to store food in the fridge. Okay, now let the cleaning begin. <laughs> I need to put all this stuff away. I don't usually have anything on top of my kitchen counter except for that fruit bowl you can see in front of me and then and my microwave but that's pretty much all I have out oh and a tray that's really it I don't like it when I have stuff all over I don't like clutter on top of the kitchen counter my kitchen is not that big so I don't like to have things everywhere I use a combination of the flora which I absolutely love and any type of degreaser that's what I use on my kitchen counters and on my cupboards as well um, I just find that, that I love the smell of the flora and I know that it has antiseptic in it so it kills bacteria but it's just a smell that gets me absolutely love it so I use that to clean the kitchen counters as well as the microwave and the cooker and the and the um, and the cupboards so that's what I'm doing right here I clean that down and I try I always like to dry it bone dry I don't like to leave wet stuff everywhere so I will use a wet cloth and then I'll go over it with a dry cloth just to make sure that everything is nice and dry my philosophy is if you're in one space do everything that needs to be done in that space I just realized that I had some washing in the washing machine so i am going to get that going it doesn't take that much time just put some laundry liquid in it and get that going while i'm doing other things so by the time i'm done those will be done as well so it just makes life a lot more simpler okay now on to the food i am just going to make a really really quick dinner this is what i call you know food last last stuff in the fridge type cooking so i'm just gonna roast lots and lots of vegetables and i will make a dressing for it and that will be dinner all done so i'm using sweet potatoes some peppers some mushrooms and some onions so what i'm doing here is i need to peel the sweet potatoes and then i will chop them into cubes i could not find my potato peeler for the love of me so this was a dangerous thing i was doing right here trying to cut them up with a knife um and then you just cube them and uh, put some lovely uh, spice on them and put them in the oven and it's really really straightforward cooking it doesn't need that much effort well the prep work needs a little bit of effort but that's about it not that much effort and you're good to go so here is my potatoes all peeled and cubed um, sorry I lost the footage of the ingredients that I put in there but I put some cumin some coriander some dry um, garlic uh, salt pepper and some dry parsley and a little bit of coconut oil i am doing vegan obviously because that's how i eat um and then you just pile that on to a baking tray i did exactly the same thing for the 
peppers as well as the mushrooms and the onions so I like to keep things the same flavor I put this in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 20 minutes and that's pretty much all the time it takes for the sweet potatoes and everything else to cook oh and I also added some chickpeas in there see I said lat bottom of the cupboard cooking I realized that I hadn't cleaned the outside of my oven I cleaned the top of the cooker but I didn't clean the oven so <laughs> we need to get that clean because it was looking a bit not so great okay so for the dressing for my roasted vegetable I used two tablespoons of tahini and then I added four tablespoons of water gave that a really nice mix and then I added some maple syrup uh, about a tablespoon of maple syrup but you can add more if you want it slightly sweeter um, tahini is quite bitter um, and then I added some salt and then some garlic and I mixed that all up and I added some lemon as well mix that up and put it to one side now we can continue cleaning <laughs> and it's just the sink now that I've pre prepped everything I cleaned the, the sink I ran out of my sink cleaner I normally use C uh, SIF uh, but I ran out so I use some of these sensor degrees that I had if anybody knows of anything that I could use to get lime scales off my sink please tell me because this is just a nightmare I can never get it clean properly it, it drives me insane so any ideas please please help uh, so i clean that down and then i dry it and that's my sink done to the best of my ability for how clean i can get it but i am i fight with this sink all the time on to my last job yay okay so now i just everything is clean i always start from top to bottom so all the surfaces are clean so now it's just a matter of just mopping the floor getting that nice and clean i just use um a floor cleaner that i get from uh home bargains i think it's sif and then i mix it with um the flora yes and that's what i use to clean the floor it leaves a beautiful smell in the house from the zaflora uh, at the moment i'm using winter spice i've been back to the store and i can't find any more which is such a shame but yeah i love it now food is ready and the kids are back from school so it's dinner time so everyone is gonna eat and then i can just tidy up the kitchen one last time and then that will be the end of it so this is my dinner all roasted and beautiful i love it i love simple stuff like this it just makes life so much easier 20 minutes with about five minutes of prep work so half an hour at the very most and dinner is served this is my kind of food um it looks really really good and it tasted really good too Please try out this recipe it's so simple and very delicious um if you try it out please let me know what you think oh how great does this look now kitchen is all nice and clean dinner has been served eaten dishes washed packed away clothes hung oh i love it like this my kitchen looks like my kitchen again everything is nice and clean i always say to my kids once you find that basket inside the sink can you see my basket inside the sink once you see that basket inside the sink it means my kitchen is closed for the night um yeah so i really really just like there's my basket in the sink yeah so it's nice and clean now everything is where it should be and this is how i like it i hope you enjoyed this video um i might have hazard way of cleaning and cooking and doing laundry all in one <laughs> uh, i hope you find this helpful please comment below what you think uh, and i would love to know if you try out the recipe thank you so so much for watching thank you so so much for your support please do not forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't already thank you so much thanks bye